we took EBR2 to 100% power and we gagged the safety system so the emergency control rods would not go in if they were told to. And then we turned off the main coolant pumps. And you pulled on your helmets. Well, it sounds dangerous, but it wasn't. No control rods were inserted. No human intervention was involved. They just turned off the pumps and waited. The temperature climbed, held, and then began to drop. The core tends to expand thermally a little bit as it heats up. The fuel expands, the clad expands, the core support structure expands, the core plate underneath expands. And now more neutrons leak out and don't contribute to the chain reaction. And now there's natural circulation going on inside this big vessel. We can design it so that natural air circulation on the outside would occur. So you would actually never ever need to take operator action. The trouble is these tests were done about two weeks before Chernobyl. Yes, that's right. That was so no one, yeah. no one even knew about this, which yeah, is a yeah, shame. Yeah. Bob? Uh, this, this was not commercialized, yeah. right? We were going to, it was called Clinch River. I was working on Clinch River. And then... We're eliminating programs that are no longer needed, such as nuclear power research and development. This administration does not support the Department of Energy's Advanced Liquid Metal Reactor Program and will oppose any efforts to continue the funding for this reactor project. In 1994, during the Clinton administration, the last American breeder reactor program was canceled. This is not a dream. This is real. We know how to do these things.